It is complete. All the batteries are now installed. Because originally it was an emergency to get me ahead of the hurricane, but now we've got one, two, three batteries. A lot of power running this house now. And these batteries can even charge the Tesla. And yeah, these are things I'm getting rid of right there. I just heard something in this laundry room. It sounded like the door going to the garage had opened and shut. So I'm going in here to see what's going on. All right. All right, who the hell shut the door? What in the hell? sit in this chair I have this looking right at me Pennywise has got that grin on his face something about this this gives me a weird feeling I just don't know what's gonna happen is my hair gonna end up looking like that what's gonna happen Ooh, God, look at that. It's a mystery. Oh my gosh, I see clumps of hair. Ugh. Oh my goodness, there's more everywhere. We murdered a monkey. Like, what? It's on the ground. What's that? Looking 10 times better. Just this hair on the sides, man. Like, look at that. <laughs> Wait a minute, isn't that like the, uh, what's it? Um, Chris Hansen hairstyle I got going on? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Not so much anymore. Yeah. You went from grandpa to pimp. Oh in man. Three seconds. Oh right. He's got to wear this lower. Get hair on you. Oh. I ain't afraid of no hair. <laughs> what was that? Oh my gosh. All right. Get to show him the rat tail. Yeah, actually, now we're saying goodbye to the platypus tail. Whatever there it is, right there. <laughs> What's left of it? Yeah. I mean, I can glue it back on if you want. Oh, yeah, I kind of do like it now. <laughs> All right, look here. I'll put it back. Here is it. Oh. You got it. Check it out. Hey, check it out. Hey. Yeah, you gotta get that super glue though. <laughs> Wait, you got some of these ties? ties. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what I used those for earlier? What was that? I zip tied a solar light to my ATV that the lights aren't working. Yeah. That oh. like a charm. Well, that's cool. That's a MacGyver thing. And then I gave Boston some lights for his ATV because his didn't have lights. Oh, cool. And now he gets to ride at next time. It'll be <clears> fun <throat> riding that thing ungoverned. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's loving it. Cool. I'm looking all around. There's all kinds of Italian stuff in here. Oh, yeah. Ravioli. <laughs> I like that kind of stuff. I just got to watch what I eat now, but there's a lot of good stuff in here. Man. You got to walk around and see what else is here. Just keep walking in here and see what they have. Oh, you can just go all day in here. Oh, I gotta find something to eat. Cannoli. Huh?
good here. Thank you for your help. Oh, you're already welcome. Keep shopping in here. Just out here walking. There's a lot of Halloween decorations out here. But it was uh, really nice going to that uh, place with all that Italian stuff. Got to go back over there. Just getting my steps, and uh, that's pretty much it for now. Just trying to get my uh, 20K steps. So got to keep up with that. October 10th, I think, 2023. Got some fresh mozzarella. Look at that. Right there. You're going to have some. I just can't help myself. Oh. I gotta have this every day. Oh, 69. <laughs> I gotta have this. Oh man, this is so good. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I better I better cut this off because this might not be appropriate. Because I'm having too much fun eating these tomatoes. That's good news. Well, what? Where'd the good news go? What happened to the good news? I thought I saw the stock market was up. Today is Tuesday, October 10th, 2023. And I've been very busy lately, just taking care of a lot of things, going back and forth to the doctors, going here and there, going to the store, going on my walks, visiting friends, getting my hair cut, and at the same time, visiting my good friends and having some time with them. So I have just been very, very busy for October. And even September was like one of my busiest months because of all the things that I've been doing. And uh, last month marks the whole year of buying this house, moving down here and doing all these renovations and upgrades and just making my home feel like home, making it feel like the home that I had once lived in with family. You know, it just gives me some kind of connection because it has that same kind of vibe. And so I found a way to live and be happy while living alone. And I thought it was gonna be very difficult for me because in the beginning, I was struggling with that. I was struggling with the idea of living alone because, you know, as a parent, you know, your kids, they eventually grow up, right? And they eventually grow up and become adults and they get married, move somewhere, sometimes even far away. Then you as a parent, depends on your circumstance, whether you're married or not, or, you know, maybe in a relationship, you either uh, stay in the area or you move. And when you have family members, you know, if you have kids and they're talking about moving on the West Coast or moving here or there, and you're by yourself in a big home and you're thinking to yourself, do I stay in this big home and have all this space and have to pay electricity to heat and cool a home that's so large? And if it's, if it's just me and then feeling more alone because of all the empty space or do I downsize? And so I decided to downsize and I was contemplating on where to go. I was having issues thinking about where should I stay in the same area? Should I go further south? And due to financial reasons, it was best for me to move further south to be in an area where I'm closer to really good medical facilities. I can have better health coverage and uh, have less worries about my home being taken away if I had medical bills beyond what I could pay. Because that was something I worried about living up north, was that they could just take your home. And you know, you wanna go somewhere where you have better protection from that kind of thing. You know, look into homestead exemptions and homestead, you know, some states have more 
are more generous with that and some states are not as generous. So if you go for one that's not generous to one that's a little bit more generous or even completely generous, depends on where you go, then probably will sleep better at night, especially if you're going to the doctors a lot and racking up a lot of medical bills like me. In the last couple months, over $10,000 already in medical bills from going to the doctors, going to get ultrasounds, numerous ultrasounds, uh, x-rays, uh, a CT scan, uh, blood work, more blood work. I mean, I can't even count how many times I've been getting blood work and going to the urologists, getting uh, you know more tests done and seeing the physician and just running back and forth and I looked at the bill, I'm like, holy crap, it was like 10,600 something dollars in medical bills. And I was like, thank God I got health insurance. But what's scary is that health insurance, you know, it doesn't cover 100% of everything. And there's contractual agreements between the health, you know, the providers and the health insurance. And, you know, it's scary to think that what if you have to pay the difference? What was that? heard something I don't know what that was but I heard something but uh, that's that's how that goes there but anyway just been out and about getting my steps getting my exercise exploring different places went to this Italian it was like a deli it's, a, it's like a butcher it's a you know place you know so I went on this road trip went to go visit a friend got my hair cut you know and I stopped in this place. I'm like, man, this reminded me of being back up north. And I'm talking much further north when I was much younger and having access to all these Italian places, these bakeries, these, uh, you know, Italian stores, delis, all that. I'm like, I don't know what it is that I heard. I heard something and I'm trying to find out what it is. I heard something in this house. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'm just uh maybe I'm just hearing things. Maybe I'm hearing things, but I could have swore I heard something as I'm here talking. And I I'm walking around and, and I heard something and I'm gonna play this back and see if I actually did like catch something in the uh video. Cause I believe I am certain that I just heard something. I'm not like I don't think I'm losing my mind right now. I know I heard something. <laughs> but uh, anyway, went and checked out a couple places and uh, just keep walking outside. I mean, I love being outside. It's, you know, I'm all about the outdoors. I got to be outside. I got to have my fresh air. I got to have that time outdoors, you know. I don't know what it is, but I heard something. I don't know where it's coming from. I have no idea what it is. Did it come from, like, I'm, why am I asking you? Like, it sounded like it was either up in there or somewhere in, I have no idea. This is my life now, hearing stuff in my house. Like I hear stuff all the time and I know where it's coming from. <laughs> I'm clueless. I hope it wasn't the washer and dryer doing anything. I hope not. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I definitely heard something. I am not hearing things. I legit heard something. But I don't see anything. There's nothing that I can see. Nobody in here, see? No idea. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, anyway, here are some video clips of me out and about this has kind of been my typical day since moving down here a year ago. 
you know, I'll go here, I'll go there and uh, just do things that keep me active, keep me busy. If I am not getting enough exercise, then I am punishing myself because then my health is affected negatively. And it's also bad for me emotionally. So yeah, I don't want any trouble for myself. I don't want, you know, my body getting mad at me. And my body's like, hey, Bobby, what are you doing to yourself? What are you doing to me? You need to stop this. You need to get out there and, and get some exercise. Get your 20,000 steps a day. And that's what I do. 20K steps every day. There's no excuse. I got to do it. I can't just give up. You know, just because I have all these fears and, and uncertainties, you know, with what's happening in my life and not knowing, you know, what do I have going on with my body and why do I have to keep going to the doctors to get all these tests done and, and imaging tests and you name it. I can't let it tear me down, you know, tear me apart. I gotta just be positive, you know, and I'll make it through this. Anyway, all of you amazing. Um, I figured I would just make a video like this to keep you guys updated on what's going on in my life and just share a little bit about what I do on a daily basis. You know, things change every day, but this is just a sample of what I was doing in the last couple of days. And uh, that's going to be it. You guys take care and be safe.